In recent years, geoscientists have felt an increasing need to reflect on the ethical and social values that underlie geoscience practice and research. Understanding how the Earth works, discovering and using its resources, studying its forms and dynamics, as well as finding ways to live with hazards and intervening in natural systems and processes are all activities that imply great responsibilities for geoscientists, not only in technical scientific terms, but also in an ethical and social perspective. Without any doubt, human actions impact on socio-ecological systems, consisting of elements that are strongly interconnected and exhibiting system behaviors that can be difficult to assess. To contribute to finding solutions to current global challenges that are both effective and socially acceptable, scientific advances must be complemented by considerations of their ethical and social aspects. Well, but what ethical criteria can guide human interaction with the Earth? How can we find a sustainable balance between conservation of the planet and economic development to ensure us a safe operating space? And what is the social role of geoscientists as professional and citizens in this context? Well, geoethics is conceived to answer these and related questions. Geoethics has been defined as the research and reflection on the values which underpin appropriate behaviors and practices wherever human activities interact with the Earth system. This definition provides a basis for analysis and practice and highlights the need to identify values, common values, on which to base the interaction between humans and the planet. Geoethics deals with the ethical, social and cultural implications of geoscience knowledge, education, communication, research and practice. And this underlines the centrality of geosciences as a group of disciplines, as a body of technical scientific knowledge and practices essential to guide humans' behaviors towards the heart. Moreover, geoethics focuses on the social role and the ethical responsibility of geoscientists in conducting their activities. Taking responsibility means being answerable for our actions because of our competence to address the problem at hand. Geoscientists are asked to assume the responsibility of using their knowledge for the benefit of society and to protect the territory the environment, the planet in general, and its inhabitants. The concept of responsibility is a central pivot in geoethics. The word responsibility means to respond, and so it expresses the commitment to answer to someone for our actions and their consequences the duty to satisfactorily perform a task. For geoscientists, this means to respond with competence to societal requests for a safe life and a sustainable development. For their expertise and knowledge, geoscientists are key players to achieve these goals. So they have a great responsibility in doing their job, during their activities, geoscientists have to make professional choices. They need to take the best or at least the most acceptable decision in a certain situation and in a given context. This implies ethical responsibilities. Those responsibilities may affect different ethical domains, the individual domain, the interpersonal domain, the societal and the environmental domains. And each of these domains is characterized by specific reference values.
in the individual domain, each geoscientist has a responsibility towards himself, herself, to conduct the work to the best of own ability. This implies maintaining high standards of intellectual honesty, pursuing excellence in science and professionalism in doing a job. In a practical way, this may consist of verifying sources of information, reporting findings and interpretations fully and objectively, not altering or ignoring evidence to strengthen one's argument, being honest about the limits of one's own knowledge and competence, and acting within these limits. It means avoiding or declaring any potential conflict of interest and engaging in ongoing professional training and the continuous improvement of geoscience knowledge throughout one's career. In the interpersonal domain, geoscientists should assess actions with respect to their working environment, colleagues and wider profession. Is, it is their responsibility to cooperate and treat colleagues honestly and fairly, to respect other ideas, to welcome fair debate and embrace a diversity of perspectives, expertise and methods, to foster mutual understanding, share information and data, respect and acknowledge the intellectual property of others, avoiding unfair competition. In the societal domain, each geoscientist has responsibilities towards human communities. The geoscientist produces knowledge and assigns solutions for the benefit of society. It is his, her responsibility to serve society as effectively as possible in order to support its development and assure its safety. To achieve those goals, it is essential, for example, to take care of the data life cycle, including making data and the results of one's studies public. Research results and their application should be shared with relevant public and non-expert audiences, but in a way that addresses their knowledge, interests, needs and concerns. It is important that those results are easily accessible, user-friendly and contextualized with explanatory information. Geoscientists should take similar care in actively communicating their knowledge to policy makers and public bodies at all levels and should seek to develop constructive and responsible interactions between academia and industry. They have a key role in the training and skills development of technicians and professionals and in participating in public engagement, awareness raising and educational activities. Finally, the environmental domain. The role of geoscientists in helping to manage the natural realm imply their responsibility towards the environment. Geoscientists have knowledge, expertise, professional and also cultural sensibility that are essential to protect natural environments, to manage the development of natural resources and places so as to minimize negative impacts on ecosystems to enhance the scientific, educational, cultural and also aesthetic value of biodiversity and geodiversity and to entrust these values to future generations. A distinguishing feature of geoethics is that it is actor-centric and in particular centred on informing the conceptual frameworks and practical interventions of the individual scientist. 
Moreover, geoethics is based on geoscience knowledge. The individual, the geoscientist, who possesses a specific corpus of knowledge, is equipped to promote attitudes and ways of thinking founded on that knowledge base, including through cooperation with those who are not experts in the field, to find the most acceptable ways to interact with the planet. Geoethics is a virtue ethics, placing at the forefront the individual responsible action, based on the adoption of societal and professional reference values. Its development and application are led by scientists for the benefit of society within a pragmatic, open and continuous revision process. It focuses on the comprehension of physical and social realities. Geoethics is context-dependent in space and time. This means that it is shaped and informed by a strong awareness of the technical, environmental, economic, cultural and political limits existing in different socio-ecological contexts. Geoscientists acting in a geoethical perspective must ask to themselves what is right to do here and now and how and why. These basic characteristics give us the idea of the innovative potential of geoethics. Geoethics covers the entire range of geoscience applications, from basic research to commercial undertakings. The main issues and topics geoethics addresses include the sustainable use of natural resources, such as water, energy, mineral and biological resources, the reduction and management of natural and anthropogenic risks, the sustainable management of land, coastal areas, seas and open oceans, the pollution reduction and the impacts of pollutants on human health and environment global environmental changes and the climate change adaptation, the protection of natural environments, the dissemination of concepts as geodiversity and geoheritage, and the promotion of activities as geoparks and geotourism as tangible tools to foster sustainable development, to strengthen our sense of belonging to the own territory and to recognize ourselves in it. And continuing geoethics includes the study in depth of the principles of research integrity, geoscience professionalism, and the development of codes of conduct for geoscientists, the development of forensic geology and medical geology as geoscience disciplines useful for human daily life as well as the development of literacy and education campaigns in geosciences addressed to the public and the promotion of activities as the citizen science. Since the 19th century, humans have been recognized as a geological force capable of modifying natural environments. In virtue of this prerogative, geoethics assigns to humans an ethical responsibility that comes from the consciousness of being modifiers of those environments. Only by increasing the awareness of geoscientists and peoples of this responsibility can we work with wisdom and foresight can we respect the balances existing in nature while guaranteeing a sustainable development for future generations? In order to define acceptable solutions to current global challenges, we need to take into proper consideration 
the ethical and social aspects involved in geoscience issues. Geoethics is a useful framework of reference for geoscientists and for society as a whole to develop a new way of thinking and interacting with the planet. Geoethics may really widen the cultural horizon of geoscience knowledge and contributes to guide scientists and society in behaving responsibly towards the Earth.